Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Boss and Spider-Man 4 and Sony's Spider-Verse is growing and growing because Venom The Last Dance and Spider-Man 4 are on their way. Venom The Last Dance just released Green its first- Goblin and that shit, but he was not there, bro. First trailer, which seems about? to retcon the moment in Spider- Oh! Venom The Last Dance just released its first trailer, which seems to retcon- Did I see that? I didn't even realize that, bro. In the moment in Spider-Man No Way Home's post credit scene in which a piece of Venom was left behind in the MCU. How did he get there that fast? But now oh, that piece- Oh, 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 never mind, never mind. It was probably because the nigga was already there trying to find him type shit. Mm -hmm. This is captured by Chiwetel Ejiofor's character back in Venom's universe. Because remember, Eddie transferred back to his universe, and Chiwetel in this movie is not Mordo. Meanwhile, Reese Ifens, the Dr. Connors lizard actor, also returns in this Venom movie as a new character, and they're- I didn't realize that. The nigga looked different because of his beard, bro. There is a shot of a kid that, who knows, might be Venom's- That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense because they said Venom, the actual Venom, is in the timeline of Andrew Garfield. And Andrew Garfield is already Spider-Man. That doesn't make sense. Is not Mordo. Meanwhile, Reese Ifens, the Dr. Connors lizard actor, also returns in the- That doesn't make sense. So what timeline is this nigga in? That doesn't make sense. This Venom movie as a new character, and there is a shot of a kid that, who knows, might be- I seen that, but like, I didn't- Venom's universe's Peter Parker. Now How? What? So the theory of Venom being in the same universe as Andrew Garfield is no longer? Is that what you're telling me? Now, our channel's frame-by-frame -frame breakdown of this trailer is coming tomorrow, gonna be hosted by Jessica Clemens. But in this video, I am going to explain what the hell Sony is doing when it comes to this movie and Spider-Man 4, and whether a rumored team-up between Daredevil and Spider-Man to fight Kingpin needs Venom That's in the gonna be, Yo, the streets need that! The streets need it, bro. And whether this bar top moment is true. It was never in the same universe, bro. Where do my... I suppose. A retcon. But let's break down. So so then that means that there's going to be a brand new Spider-Man, even though the, the little nigga's young. So this is a whole different universe now. So do niggas think this nigga Venom had just has his own separate universe? Everything we know about Spider-Man 4 and okay. how it will tie in with Venom The Last Dance. So Eddie Brock in this trailer for Venom The Last Dance is wearing the same clothes that he was wearing in the Spider-Man No Way Home okay. post credit scene. So presumably... Venom would have been pulled in what? We are picking up with his character after he teleported back from the MCU into the Venom universe, which Spider-Man across- Venom universe. Okay, so he has his own actual universe. I thought he was like in par with like someone else's shit. I don't know. The Spider-Verse in that Mrs. Chen cameo scene labeled Earth 688. I don't know if Sony even knows that that scene happened, but like a couple years ago, we all assumed that the- Let's go ahead. What's good, boy? Hello, boy. Just cheered X4. What's Pre you up? Appreciate the four biddies, gang. Appreciate you, bro. No cap. Well, right now, we're breaking down the new trailer of Venom. The entire reason for that transference between the Venom Let There Be Carnage post credit scene and the Spider Man No Way Home post credit scene was to leave this piece of the Venom symbiote loose in the MCU with Tom Holland's Peter Parker. But yeah. Now, what seems to be that same piece is pinned suddenly in a vial by Chiwetel Ejiofor and Cristo Fernandez, who plays Danny Rojas and Ted Lasso, plays the bartender once more, returning from the No Way Home scene. He's wearing the same shirt. Even the glasses for the fruity drinks on the bar top are the same. His hair is down and long here, but I believe in No Way Home it was also long. It was just pulled back in a ponytail. This bar set looks like it is the same general structure, but the lighting and the decor do appear to have changed a bit from No Way Home. It's not clear if this is meant to be the same bar from that scene, or if perhaps the way Eddie's hotel room warped into a different universe hotel room with different wallpaper and fixtures and furniture and lighting as he shifted into a variant universe, this might be meant to be the same bar, but in an alternate universe. But the problem is Chiwetel's here and he is playing someone other than Mordo. So that confirms that this right here is not the MCU. I guess we could really try to overthink this and say that me. How do you, how do you jump into the MCU and then jump out? Maybe Eddie departs. Parts of Chris that makes no sense. How do you jump into the MCU and then jump out of the MCU? What? Cristo Fernandez bar in the MCU what? where a piece of venom is still loose and then he arrives. That means anyone can jump out of the MCU. That literally means anyone could jump out of the MCU. Lives in a parallel universe, Cristo Fernandez bar in the Venom universe, where a piece of him also breaks away because it's kind of a canon event that no matter what happens in these universes, Cristo's daiquiris are just so good that a piece of Venom will always, always break off for a taste of them. We could also look at this as a sign that maybe Sony has changed its plan and they put this in the trailer because they want to signal that Venom is staying out of the MCU for now. But, okay. 
<sighs> experience when it comes to Sony's marketing, it's best to assume that puts me incompetence ease. and not 4D chess. Because this live action film division of the studio has never understood the logic of its shared multiverse. They don't yeah. get it. We think about it more than they do. And I think they may yeah. still want Venom in the MCU and in Spider-Man 4. He but... don't need to be in there right now, bro. Venom's really top gun. I mean, he don't, he don't really need to be in the MCU right now. If that nigga was in the MCU, he would literally probably kill everyone. Maybe they just didn't understand how confusing this shot of Chiwetel and Christo at the bar would be to a lot of us. So let's just put this in context for what Sony seems to be doing for Spider-Man 4. So when it comes to Spider-Man 4, Kevin Feige confirmed all the way back in February 2023 that they had a story locked with big ideas and that their writers would just start- Please make that nigga like, just like, ha like have it something to do with like, like the streets, bro, please to put pen to paper at that point. Feige has always been pretty open about on, his Feige. direct involvement with Feige, this movie's please. story, as has Tom Holland himself, who told Deadline in the past month, quote, this is the first time in this process that I've been part of the creative so early. It's just a process where I'm watching and learning. It's just really a fun stage for me. Like I said, everyone wants it to happen, but we want to make sure we're not overdoing the same things. Amy Pascal indicated to Fandango- Overdoing on... what? Bro, just- <laughs> Yo, we've never seen actually Spider-Man fighting his nemesises. Like, this nigga has multiple nemesis. Let the nigga fight Kingpin or, 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 or Shocker or... Like, you feel me? On the eve of No Way Home's release, that in her eyes, the next film would be the next trilogy of Spider-Man films, which many of us took to mean that the fourth movie would feature Tom Holland and Peter Parker introducing Miles Morales and passing the torch Whoa. to him. Do you have that Spider-Man do it? Currently, Tom Holland is performing in a production of Romeo and Juliet in London, and on May 20th, fans noticed a discreet meetup between Tom Holland and Sony executive Tom Rothman. And yes, it's hilarious to me that anyone would be able to recognize Tom Rothman, but you know, that's where we're at. And yes, it's noticed a discreet meetup between Tom Holland and so Yo, you, yo, would y'all hate to be a celebrity, bro? Cause like, yo, how do niggas find this? Like, yo, what? They just be finding niggas locations and then just taking pictures. Like, yo, I would be so tight. Sony executive Tom Rothman. And yes, it's hilarious to me that anyone would be able to recognize Tom oh, Rothman, fuck? but you know, that's, by the way, it was Bob Iger who personally called Tom Holland in September, 2019, when Tom Holland was drinking in a pub when Disney and Sony were intent due to her forging the deal with Kevin Feige to co-produce Spider-Man and her involvement in Lord and Miller's animated Spider-Verse film, pretty much every Spider-Man movie that Sony makes must be contractually produced by Pascal's production company, Pascal Pictures. That's why, why? she remains this key executive who's always sitting alongside Kevin Feige for every film of this franchise. Now, why? John Watts, who directed Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Far From Home, and Spider-Man No Way Home, will not direct this fourth film. Watts has moved on to produce Star Wars Skeleton Crew for Disney and Lucasfilm. Star Wars Skeleton Crew? What the fuck? That? Oh, that's some new shit. What the fuck is this? Is this some children shit? They doing whatever with Star Wars, bro. And this fall will be the release of his written and directed film. I Wolf love Star Wars. Bro. Wolfs, starring George Clooney and Brad Pitt, which looks really would want to bring back Michael Keaton as Adrian Toomes' Vulture. Adrian Toomes may be part of Sony's plan for this franchise because Morbius ended in that post credit scene in which Adrian Toomes met with Morbius and planned to target Spider- I remember that. I remember that. Spider-Man for some reason. I'm not sure how I got here. Has to do with Spider-Man, I think. I'm still figuring this place out, but I think a bunch of guys like us should team up. Could do some good. Ha <laughs> ha, remember that? We want to thank Geology for sponsoring this video. See, here you go. Nigga did it in the middle of the video. That's 100. That's smart key ways. Spider-Man No Way Home ended with the kind of reset, of course, with Doctor Strange's runes of cough call memory spell, wiping the memories of everyone in the MCU of who Peter Parker is. Now, they still remember Spider-Man, mind you. That was the smartest idea, because in reality, no one's really supposed to know who Spider-Man is. Like, so Spider-Man, like, on some real shit, Spider-Man's not supposed to have friends, to be honest. Like, just like, like, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, he doesn't have friends. He's not supposed to have friends, bro. I'm not gonna lie. They just don't remember who is under the mask. And now no one has heard of a guy named Peter Parker. We see that Peter Parker has moved on to Manhattan and he did not go to MIT with Ned and MJ and instead began to work on his GED, having stitched together a new brighter colored suit. And if you read the screenplay for Spider-Man No Way Home, it includes this line on the final page that gives us context for what the filmmakers intended. Quote, Peter Parker is no more, but Spider-Man lives on. Now the Venom 3 trailer shot at the bar top muddies Sony. Yeah, that's what he had to, he had to give up his own literal identity. Just to, just to stay Spider-Man, bro. His plan for Venom's involvement in Spider-Man 4. Maybe Tom Rothman said to put this shot in the trailer as like a negotiating tactic against Kevin Feige as a way of saying, you know, we don't have to give you Venom. But again, always assume incompetence, not 4D chess. Madam Web, pointless. 
Why are you even showing this? Spider-Man No Way Home was a Sony production. It just had Marvel Studios consultation. That was Sony's decision to add that bar top shot in the No Way Home post credit scene. It was not Kevin Feige's decision. And I gotta imagine that Sony had some plan for that Let There Be Carnage post credit scene that some people who work there intend on delivering in some way. Venom told Eddie this right before they got transferred over to the MCU. 80 billion light years of hive knowledge across universes would explode your tiny little brain. And then once they got to the MCU, seeing Peter Parker Spider-Man on the TV, Venom licked the screen, suggesting something. But the fact that a non-canon person can come into canon is kind of crazy because that's like on some like, isn't that possible? about the symbiote was drawn to Spider-Man. Now, honestly, I never really know what to make of Venom licking things in these movies. Sometimes he wants to just eat things. Sometimes it's a sign of affection. Sometimes it might be like a sex thing. Sometimes it's just involuntary because let's be real folks, even from the early years of Venom in the comic- Bro, Venom's gay, bro. Venom was always kind of a mess of a character, and that's kind of what made him fun. Like, he originated from a fan letter in 1982 for a black and white suited Spider Man. This was sent by an Illinois comic reader, Randy Schuler, and this was responded to by Marvel's then editor in chief, Jim Shooter, and assigned to artists Mike Zack and Rick Leonardi, which then led to John Byrne at Marvel conceiving of a suit being made of a self healing biological Fire. material, and then Roger Stern using that idea for a Spider Man alien costume, and then Tom DeFalco and Ron Friends established the costume was a sentient alien vulnerable to sonic frequencies and then finally david michelin so and Todd fire. mcfarlane penned that concept venom. is so fire bro like i love marvel venom as its own character venom was always more of a visual concept a vibe just kind of like yuck incarnate appealing in my opinion to an aging demographic of gen x comic readers seeking more of an edge from you, you think you think you think kevin feige's waiting for for niggas you think kevin feige's waiting for uh for for seth uh what's that again oh ryan reynolds to drop Deadpool and um, but I ain't gonna lie, I feel like movies this year is gonna be fire. Cause look, first of all, we just got Dune two, beautiful, beautiful movie. King Kong versus Godzilla, Scar King, fire. What we about to get this month? Deadpool two, involving the TVA, fire. We about to get Venom in October, fire. Yo, drop this series of Daredevil. I will be Gucci for entertainment for the whole entire year, for the whole rest of the year. Marvel Comics in the early 90s era. And it's why Sam Raimi ne Notice how I did not involve Madam Web because that shit was fucking bullshit. Never had a good take on Venom when he was producing Spider-Man 3 because I believe that Venom is not a character. He's really just a puddle. Caught up on Loki. Loki is fire. Crazy, crazy concept. I feel like niggas need to see what's up with Thor. Nah, Th Thor's right now, he being a father. Well, what else is there to Thor? Flop. And that, I think, is why in Sony's Venom movies, they've always just essentially let Tom Hardy do whatever he wants to ad-lib something resembling a soul into the Venom identity. And that's why he just sounds weird. And it's just Tom Hardy going like, mm, I'm really hungry. But you know what? At the end of the day, he always looks really cool. And we have to admit, it's just awesome to see Spider-Man in a black suit and to see a good boy go bad. But yo, can, yo, can I see Tom Holland in a black suit? I don't know. Like, nah, I need to see Andrew Garfield. Make that nigga come back. Bro. Ultimately, I think Kevin Feige understands and respects the vision. They drop around this time. Who? Who drop around this time? Visual power. I feel like I feel like this month, like for the the past recent for the Marvel movies, I feel like they've been dropping pretty. Like they haven't been dropping on their time. And like, I remember when, bro, when Spider Man dropped, that shit dropped around November, gang. That's a fact. The last Spider-Man dropped in November. Multiverse of uh, whatever the fuck that shit is called, No Way Home, that shit dropped in November. Seeing Tom Holland, Peter Parker in a this, black Spider-Man suit during a sequel. Oh, December, whatever. Doctor Strange movie was weak. Um, nah. It played a big ass part though. It played a big ass part because if he didn't do that, niggas was gonna get fucked up by the Scarlet Witch. She was gonna really put niggas through carnage, bro. It wasn't weak, bro. Doctor Strange was mad weak. That shit was weak. Eek? What? Secret Wars event. And whatever Sony has planned to get them there, he is. So, was the Marvel's weak? Hey, with. But I think Kevin Feige understands really the way to heighten what we saw in No Way Home. And it was all there in December 2021. The but, bro, the, the Multiverse of Madness played a big part, though. You gotta understand whether niggas feel like it was weak or not. What's this? It's This is Roblox. This is Roblox. Inclusion of Charlie Cox, Matt Murdock, and Spider Man No Way Home was such a big deal. It coincided with the release of. Never seen the Marvel, so I know it's weak. Nah, it's not weak, bro. It just got women in it, bro. It just got women in it, bro. Hawkeye's final two episodes on Disney Plus, which contained the surprise return of Vincent D'Onofrio as Wilson Fisk Kingpin. Being that's just gonna be so fire. Oh my God. Those two iconic characters in his MCU toy box, I believe is what excites Kevin Feige the most about a board. Exit. My nigga, are you rude? No, she's rude, bro. She has no decorum, bro.
Spider-Man movie. And I think it's the best way for Tom Holland to approach the character in a way that he hasn't done before. Kingpin and Daredevil represent heightening Spider-Man's virtues as a friendly neighborhood hero. So if you're Kevin Feige, Tom Rothman, Amy Pascal, and Tom Holland, what elements do you need for this fourth Spider-Man film? To fourth Spider-Man film? Make it about him actually being a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. The nigga has no identity now, right? Niggas just know Spider-Man. They don't know Peter Parker, he's a random. He's not even a person. Tom Rothman, Amy Pascal, and Tom Holland, what elements do you need for this fourth Spider-Man film to be a billion dollar hit that Disney and Marvel and Sony and Pascal- They know Spider-Man? Now pictures can make- They can fight, um, I feel like, I feel, oh, damn. Hey nigga, I'm not a, I'm not a, a, I'm not an executive producer. I wouldn't know how to fucking film a movie, nigga. Make a so big enough return on investment from three things. One, Peter Parker, Spider-Man teaming up with Daredevil, Charlie Cox. Yes, yes, yes. To fight Kingpin. Two, a symbiote infected black suit. And yes. we need a third element in here to really spice things up. And I so um, I guess they can put they could put a Miles Morales in Tom Holland's universe because it's like like no one's hearing about if they're gonna bring back. Toby Maguire or Angel. So like I guess they could just put it to, to Tom Holland. But it's like, mm, I feel like that would be stupid because this spider Tom Holland Spider-Man, that little nigga is not even 20 years old. He's not even 20 years old. Y'all gotta remember that. He's not even 20 years old. So how can he how can he have a successor? True. Or maybe it's like a time lapse when when a new Spider-Man come out, he's probably 21 now. Matter of fact, I don't even think he, yo, I don't even think Kevin Feige is gonna be able to do Miles Morales because isn't Miles Morales in the Sony like the 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 you know the the the, the cartoon Spider-Man nigga? Isn't that from Sony? Yeah, maybe have to be Sony. I don't know. I think the way that you guarantee this movie makes a billion dollars. They can make Peter more masculine, but that's not that's not the problem, nigga. That's just his appearance. You sound gay as fuck. I'm talking about I'm talking about what they can actually do to get half a billion dollar idea you feel me a billion dollar movie that's what they talking about they won't make a live action miles they've been trying to though you don't know that because look you can't say they they they, they won't do that because look this right here this clip right here this is the uh this is the prowler is you bring back donald glover as uncle aaron and that's uncle aaron gang his nephew from brooklyn miles morales yeah where his nephew at oh damn so he is gonna be in this because his that's his yo Sony obviously hasn't forgotten about Donald Glover, who in Spider-Man Homecoming established a nephew named Miles somewhere in the background of the MCU. I don't want those weapons in this neighborhood. Definitely I got did. a nephew who live here. Yeah, sorry, Miles. I'm not, I'm not going to make it. And of course, Donald Glover also made a cameo as an yeah. alternate universe prowler in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Yeah, I remember this too. That shit was kind of crazy. I'm like, yo, why did it die? Prowler? Not your prowler. Hey. Hey. Rude to stay. Hmm, and notice how we. Uh, yo, whenever I watch it like this, I, I turn into a nerd, bro. Like, never bro. learn how Spider Punk captured this guy. A signal from Sony that there is more to the story there. I think it's possible we are seeing a shift unfold oh God, as bro. Tom Holland is having these meetings with Tom this shit Rothman. Me so excited. And the story is still being locked down. And maybe the people in these meetings are realizing, you know what? Maybe we don't need a Venom subplot in Spider Man 4 to work. And then. Not really, not really. But he has mad fucking enemies, bro. Or 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 or, or bring out Chameleon, bro. Y'all y'all niggas probably don't even know who Chameleon is. This could just work as a Spider-Man Daredevil versus Kingpin story that brings back Uncle Aaron and introduces Miles Morales. And now the studio is trying to signal their approval. Should they? Nah, don't do that story. Are they talking about the story when 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 Spider-Man actually dies and? And and Miles wants to take on the mantle. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Approval of that by doing some sloppy do expectation why, management in their marketing for Venom Three. Now that's that, not even that's not even like a canon. That's not even like a canon storyline, bro. Doesn't mean we'll never see Tom Holland in a black suit. It could just be that Kevin Feige wants to save that for Secret Wars. We'll be talking about this a lot more in the months ahead. And Yo, that's just a Secret Wars. It could just be that Kevin Feige wants to save that for Secret Wars. Wait. Spider-Man had the black suit in Secret Wars? What, nigga? Oh my god, that's gonna be crazy, bro. That's gonna be crazy, bro. Involving Doctor Doom, multiple Spider-Man, bro. Yo, that's literally gonna be a billion dollars, bro. We'll be talking about this a lot more in the months ahead. And then. again, Jessica Clemens will be breaking down. Yeah, it's gonna take some time, though, because whoever whoever character they use, like certain people, they have to age into that, age into the role. 
Like, Spider-Man right now, he's not ready to be in no Secret War. That nigga's a little boy. He's, like, 19 years old, bro. There's no, there's no Iron Man. I don't even think... What's that nigga named? Captain Falcon? Or whatever that black nigga name is that's the new Captain America. I don't even think he's really certified yet. And then they, they, gotta, they gotta involve mad other niggas. First of all, they gotta involve Shang-Chi. Yeah, I don't remember. Bro, niggas gotta involve Iron Fist. Oh, they should do that. Yo, they should do that. It might, it might not go crazy, though. On this trailer, shot by they shot, in that. a breakdown coming tomorrow. That could Comment down like below with show, your like thoughts on this. Like Follow shit. me at EA Voss. Subscribe to all three channels of the New Rockstars yeah. Network for... A lot of information. I feel like, I don't know, that that whole thing with um thinking if that that little baby was Spider-Man, though, I mean, it's possible. Thought it was none, got none for free. So you ain't getting none from me. I married a dumb deal for the fee. In the trash bar, pushing the pee. In the floor, so he dropping the G. 100 o'clock TV, he gonna be. Yeah, like, those who don't have his fam.